You're probably wondering what the artist Pink has to do with authentic sales in the meetings and conferences industry. Believe it or not, more than you can imagine. So we're going to talk about that today. So I had the great privilege of seeing Pink again for the second time in my life uh, for her Beautiful Trauma Tour. This is the Beautiful Trauma CD. Uh, my 10 year old's probably going to watch this video back and go, mom, what's a CD? And I'll have to explain that to him, but whatever. So anyways, Beautiful Trauma Tour. It was an amazing show. I did what I always do at Pink Conference or concerts and started to cry. Um, multiple times through the concert, her, her lyrics and her performance are so overwhelming. You can't help but cry, especially as a woman who wants to feel empowered, um, or any human being that wants to feel empowered. And so through this process and having a good time at the concert, I realized this would make a really good blog post. Yes, that's what I do at musical concerts is I figure out how to turn it into a blog post. So lucky you guys, I scratched my boring content that I had on the agenda for this week and started crafting uh, a post about authenticity in the sales process um, in the meetings industry. What Pink has had to do from the very beginning and continues to do is fight conformity and be true to her message. And she uses that a lot. She, she talks about speaking your truth and uh, being authentic when presenting yourself to the world. And so I started thinking about this during the concert and literally emailing myself during the concert, how this translates to our jobs as meeting professionals and hotel sales professionals. And it actually is quite a lot. If, if, if you take a look at my blog post and even the post I had on defining your ideal client, um, speaking our truth and being authentic to not only who we are as sales professionals, but the product that we're selling, we're going to reach uh, a wider audience. And, and that's what Pink has done, right? She has, her music has transcended genders and demographics and generations and can, will continue to do so uh, because she's true to her message and hasn't changed to conform to what society thinks that she should be in the music industry. So how does that impact us in the meetings industry and in particular in the hotel sales environment? And it does so in a lot of ways because we need to be honest about the product we're selling and need to be honest about our role in the process. Um, for example, if I have clients coming to me looking for the best contract negotiator in the world, I probably have to point them to one of my colleagues. While I do a good job negotiating contracts, I don't think I'm the world's best contract negotiator. I feel my strengths are stronger in other areas. The clients that I have in my business are ones that do appreciate my contract negotiation skills, but more importantly, they appreciate my post-contract service. And that's where I'm really able to excel in my strengths and able to help them a lot more, even more so than the initial contract itself. So being honest and authentic about where my particular strengths lie, I think have helped me build a genuine business and work with clients that I truly enjoy working with and who will refer me to other clients with similar interests. And if you're in a hotel, I think there's so many ways that this can transcend your sales process. Number one, looking at your property honestly in the types of clients and the types of programs that it can hold. I remember I was on a site visit once and asked a hotel what their ideal client profile was and they honestly said that they would take anything and everything. I really hesitate that they can probably take anything and everything and do a good job in servicing that type of program. So be honest about the type of program that you can service well. And I think that'll go a long way in you finding the clients that you can book easier. By going through that process, you're finding clients now that are the best fit for the hotel and the sales cycle will likely be easier in bringing them to your property rather than trying to bring everybody to your property and attract the same kind of business that the hotel down the street is trying to attract. 
So that's probably the biggest takeaway in being authentic about our property. But what does this mean as being authentic as a person? Nowadays, I think being a trustworthy person is going to land you a lot more business than the old stereotype of being a pushy salesperson. So people are looking for that trust and looking for that authenticity from you as the salesperson. And if you can let that shine through your interactions, be it email, voicemail, in person, you're going to attract the people that you attract, similar to how you attract the friends in your life, uh, similar how you treat uh, family members and strangers that's going to transcend into your business and you're going to see more of the type of business that you want for you and for your hotel or destination. I've written more ways about how to include authenticity in your sales process in my blog. If you're watching this on YouTube, the blog link is just below here. Uh, if you're watching this video on LinkedIn, it's in the LinkedIn post that's attached. And while you're over at my blog, please make sure to sign up for my email newsletter. I am very excited to create some new resources for you guys this summer. And if you're on the email list, uh, you won't miss a thing and you'll be able to see them right away. So yay, exciting things coming for the summer, I hope. Thanks for watching and if you have opportunity to see Pink in concert or even on a TV special, I encourage you to do so. It, uh, it'll do a better job than what I'm doing right now in communicating how authenticity will lead to a healthier sales environment. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.